Hi, I'm Raquel Roth. I'm an acrylic artist here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm here at Argyle Fine Art, and I'm here to show you my new floral collection, my very first solo show, and I'm really excited, so let's get started. So we have a grouping here of three paintings. Uh, the first one I'll show you is called Springtime Tapestry. Uh, it's one of my tapestry series that I've been developing over this past year and it's a, a number of layers of colors and then I do a lot of negative painting uh, to show the background leaves so it gives it a three-dimensional uh, look to it and uh, a lot of depth and uh, I've had a lot of people comment on this and ask me if I've got any wallpaper or duvets made out of this. I am working on that approach. I'm going to look into that this year. It's on my bucket list. And um, yeah, I think it would make a really nice wallpaper, very vintage looking quality to it. The next painting here again is got a little bit of that tapestry look to it as well, but it also has two little chickadees in there. I have started painting birds recently and I, this was just an excuse to incorporate some chickadees into my floral work. And uh, you know, it's very springtime. The chickadees are out, they're so cute. Uh, so I really wanted to get a piece incorporating that. Here we have my favorite, favorite flower, which are peonies. And uh, this piece is inspired by a picture I took from my backyard peonies. It's called Pretty and Pink Peonies. This is 12 by 12 inches. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention this one is called Backyard Buddies. And it's 12 <laughs> by 12 inches as well. So back to our peonies. Um, this one is, is a nocturne, so it's sort of painted more to be like peonies would look in the moonlight. Uh, and so I think I captured the glow pretty well in that one. So speaking of peonies, we have a whole wall of peonies here. And we'll start with this painting. This is called Keep Dreaming Peonies. It is 24 by 20 inches, so it's one of the larger pieces in the show. And the inspiration for this was, I'm an acrylic painter, but I wanted to uh, make a painting look like an oil, uh, give it that dreamy quality. So there's a lot of soft edges in here, a lot of blending uh, with some harder edges in the focal peony, and um, it gives it a little bit of a, that uh, dreamlike quality to it. A little bit of a uh, few little drips here and there just for a little artistic flair. The next painting we have here is a smaller painting. It's one of the smallest ones in the show. It's called it, it, Summer Roses, so it's not a painting, but uh, it's eight by eight inches. And this painting, I wanted to uh, do a very uh, loose sort of style in this one. So it has a lot of broader brush strokes in it, uh, lots of uh, corals and purples and uh, different greens with some blues. So it's, it's really quite vibrant. Um, it's a cute little piece. This is the largest painting that I have on the show. And actually, it's one of the largest paintings I've done so far. I do a lot of smaller pieces, but I want to branch out. And uh, it's sort of my um, kind of star of the show, I think. Uh, it's called Garden Party Peonies, and it's 24 by 24 inches. And again, just a real celebration of my love of peonies. Just wanted to capture how fluffy they are, um, the, the lots of different colors. There's lots of tones in the flowers themselves. Uh, so that they look overall pink, but uh, there are a lot of pinks and, um, and greens mixed in with uh, white tones, a little bit of ivory as well. Here we have a little grouping of two smaller pieces. They're both eight by 10 inches, and they're called Best Buds One and Two. And uh, although I like painting the flowers themselves, I often really enjoy painting the buds. I think those are almost my favorite part sometimes. And um, so these two can be bought separately or they can be bought together as a pair. And um, my favorite part in this though, if you can zoom in on this one, Adriana, is <laughs> I just, I love how this came out. A little bit of an accident. Sometimes accidents are uh, a little happy and they work out really well. And I just love how that little bud is just tucked in underneath there with the, just a little bright hint of uh, fuchsia on the edge. Um, that's my favorite part of that. Okay, now here we have uh, one of my favorites of the show. I mean, I love all my paintings, but sometimes some paintings are just a little bit more special um, to me. And this one is called Springtime Divas, uh, very aptly named. I mean, peonies 
you know, they are spring flowers and they, to me, are the divas of the flower world. So they just shine so bright. So this one, um, I used some different colors in this one. I uh, tried experimenting a little bit and worked out quite well. Uh, it has a lot of soft pinks, but I also threw in some uh, green, some fresh greens in there. And I think it gives it a really crisp look, crisp and fresh for spring. Over here, we have a little bit of a different piece for me. It's a little bit more of an abstract. It's not a peony per se, but it's called uh, Cue the Confetti. It's 18 by 24 inches. And it's just um, a lot of my favorite colors just sort of thrown in and, um, you know, just a very colorful piece that will brighten up any room. Here we have another peony painting, uh, actually two paintings. It's called a diptych and it's something that I was just experimenting with, wanted to try. Uh, each of the panels is 10 by 20 inches. And uh, this is called Pink Potpourri Peonies 1 and 2. So, I mean, you can buy a panel by itself or you can have it as a group. It's really meant as a group because the painting is done uh, as if it was together. Uh, the overall dimensions are about 20 by 20 inches. And um, this style, I just, my favorite colors, again, um, just a really playful mix. And um, I really enjoyed how uh, it all came together. Okay, we have another grouping of paintings here. Um, this one is called Petal Party Peonies. It is 20 by 20 inches. And uh, sometimes what I do is uh, I just get inspired by colors. And uh, I think that night I just sort of sat down and I wanted to play with oranges. So uh, this is as the result of what happened. And um, the white peonies in the middle uh, kind of balance the riot of colors around it. And it really is just a representation of, you know, um, a burst of color, spring, arriving after our dull and dreary winter. Over here we have uh, Choose to Shine. It is a 14 by 11 inches. And that has um, one of my favorite color palettes, which is uh, putting purples and greens together. And the background is very dark so that the middle um, focal flower of peony, the ivory tones really stand out really pop against the dark background and that's why I called it Choose to Shine. This little one here, well I guess not so little, but it's 16 by 20 inches. It's called Have a Sunshiny Day and um, you can't really have a spring floral show without tulips and while I was painting I noticed that I hadn't really used yellows yet so I really wanted to get yellow into the show and this is what happened and it's a really fun, bright, vibrant painting uh, really would make any room really feel a lot happier and boy we need a little bit of happy now these days now these two paintings over here you'll notice there's a little bit of a different color palette um, they're really bright kind of uh, fun pops of color and what it is is i, I got a new tube of paint and uh, it's a uh, luminous opera by holbein and if you've ever played with that, it is very bright fluorescent pink. And so I just really wanted to see what happened when I started combining the colors together. And uh, these are as a result of that. So um, they're aptly named. This one is called Playfully Yours. It is 16 by 12 inches. And this one is called Permission to Play. And it's 16 by 16 inches. So um, yeah, just really fun, fun bright colors again. Really fun for spring. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of all of my uh, paintings for my solo show. I hope you enjoy the tour. Please contact Adriana if there's anything that you see that you'd like. We will be putting all of the paintings in the window so that you can drive by and take a look at them if you want to see them in person. And I just want to say thanks again. Enjoy the spring weather. Enjoy the florals. Have a great day. Take care and stay safe. Thank you.